In this video, we'll demonstrate how to insert a junction box in a ceiling and in a wall. We find the junction box function under the electrical toolbox. So I will click on this junction box function. Here in the round fork connection points filter, we find several new junction boxes. This in which we have in ceiling at the end of the description has a predefinition to be mounting the ceiling. So I'll select this first one. We see it already has the predef uh, predefinition reference as in the ceiling and it has an offset of 0 0.034 meters from the ceiling. Okay, so I'll select this one and the correct orientation is ready for, for the ceiling. I want to insert this junction box at the center of this room. So I will move this to a corner of this room and I will use the shortcut Shift X. Okay, then I move to the other side of the, of the room and left click and the, the junction box is inserted at the middle. Okay, now I will press escape to close the function and if I right mouse click, I can repeat the last function, which is the junction box. Now, instead of the in ceiling product, I will use the first one. Okay, now click OK. As you can see, the reference now is set to free and we have a distance height of 1.05 meters indicator for switches. Okay, so I will click OK. And as you can see, the orientation now is for, for the wall. If I press tab, I can change the insertion point and I could directly insert close to the door. If you want to insert it from an offset to the wall, uh, from, uh, from the door, we can move our object close to the door object and then I will use the hotkey shift left arrow key and we have this dialogue of relative from cursor position and I will insert a length of 15 centimeters. Okay. Now I want to open the properties of this junction box again. I will press the hotkey out enter. Okay. And I want to change the distance height of 0.3, 30 centimeters indicator for sockets, for instance. Now click OK. I'll change, press tab to change the insertion point and I'll insert at the same position of the previous junction box. Okay. Now press escape to close the function. Now let's see the result in 3D of the insertion of these objects. I'll come to the render mode and let's see in, in wireframe. Okay. So this is the, the rotation in a ceiling and these in a wall.